Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Morning once again, uh, Mike in 8 RBI Radio. Uh, be here in the site of Sterling, Ohio. Uh, supposedly a uh, train derailment occurred here, but it looks to me like I'm uh, kind of a day late here. So anyway, I do see are doing some tamping over here. Apparently they have the tracks all repaired and everything. So yesterday uh, I was covering the Wheeling Lake Erie uh, derailment. And, well, let's see what else we can see here, though. Uh, I guess I'm just a, a day too late, because it happened the same time as the Wheeling Lake Erie. So, yeah, it looks like they got these tracks uh, definitely restored. down here they are doing some work down there too so Making sure it's all nice and graded and level here. Yeah, it's just unfortunate, ain't nothing to see. <laughs> and then over there, he's uh, brushing the gravel around and stuff, though, but... Oh, well, can't be two places at once, so... <laughs> anyway, that's the way it goes sometimes. All right, well... Maybe I'll hang around and see if we catch a couple trains here, then work my way back home. So we'll be right back if we see anything come along here. So hey, back at you again here. Uh, <laughs> we over here at uh, end of Willow Street by this co-op. Uh, not sure what the name of the co-op is. I just know it's here. Anyway, uh, just over here uh, straightening up and continuing the cleanup efforts here. That same tamper's over here, though, and you see he's picking up the ties and probably going to be putting it away because, from what I understand, they're pretty much wrapping it up here. Yeah, they're pretty much wrapping it up and uh, probably going to say it's a wrap. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, it's amazing how CSX uh, got this all cleared up, cleaned up, and it's really amazing. Is 
see they got this whole line all cleared up. If it's wondering, this is the Newcastle subdivision, so two. So, anyway. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go back down to that little station over there down the road here. Because they are running trains through here. And I did hear an end device go off somewhere in the area, so... Maybe we can catch a train or two, though, before we can call this quits. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. I come down here and there ain't nothing to really see other than the crew cleaning up. So, hey, it's, it's something anyway. <laughs> Got an itchy nose this morning. But anyway, all right, we're going to go down to that little station. We'll be hey, right man. back at you again. I since left uh, Sterling, though, from the derailment site. I did hear this Wheeling of Lake Erie uh, in the distance, so and thought I'd come over here to Creston, Ohio. So here he comes here, and this is a black and black white tiger stripe uh, local. So let's see what we get here. And it looks to me like it's a bunch of either coal or something. I don't think I've seen this local before. No, it's a blue, oh, it's 7,007. I've seen him before. It's a blue boy. Tankers coming up. Move back here a little bit. Thirty-two ninety-five. Got hot 3257, it's probably paraffin wax. Usually they'll say asphalt. Look at my petroleum. What's this strange looking? Uh, it's graders. Yeah, it's a high uh, top box car. Got more tankers coming up. We got 
here. More hydrocarbon liquid. I may have that wrong. Maybe I got it confused with the other. What do we got here? More petroleum. More the same. See the end approaching. Okay, and there she goes. <laughs> hey, turning out not to be a total loss today. Okay, well, we're going to look around elsewhere in the area, though. Probably make my way home, so we'll be back with the next segment here. They came back from Sterling. And look what we got here. Yeah, there was an eastbound wheeling also from near uh, Creston. I was going to chase them down, but... Then this guy, then I came up on this guy, so guess that's a good thing. <laughs> I doubt if I'm gonna catch the eastbound uh, wheeling anymore, but <laughs> let's see what we got coming up here. 3475, 1280. 1805, that's phosphoric acid. 1203, that's gasoline. Denatured alcohol. Paraffin wax appears to be. Got some more tankers coming up. 2448 molten sulfur. 1805, more of the same phosphoric acid. Twenty four forty eight again. Eighteen oh five again. Comes to the end. There she goes. Okay, we're gonna look around and see if we can catch that other one though, so we'll be right I'd back. Go for over here. Go, go, go for. <laughs> Go, go, gophers. Just sitting there looking around. Ah, 
uh, anyway, uh, be sitting here around Camp Road outside of Homerville. As you can see, I'm by the tracks here. <laughs> and there is a device coming in somewhere, but I have no idea if he stopped somewhere or he's on a move or what, though. But this is still this uh, Newcastle subdivision here, so they may be running slow through there because of the derailment in Sterling, so. All right, we'll hang around and see what we can catch. We'll be right back. Hey, back at you again. Be here on Camp Road from the previous scene of the Gopher. <laughs> this is an eastbounder uh, on the Newcastle subdivision outside of Hoverville. We got an all wreck, so let's see what we get. she goes yeah it looked like there's a little mud spot here uh, right over here so we'll take a look and see yeah definitely been some mud spot action there okay uh, that's another one for the Newcastle line CSX I did hear a radio call from this train driver though at the 183 mile marker I guess somebody turned around by the railroad tracks there and got stuck in a ditch. <laughs> ok 
Okay, the lead edge has just made it at the defect detector past Homerville. And no telling how long it'll be before it goes off, but I'm trying to decide, should I go? Maybe I'll go out there and see what's going on. <laughs> this guy is stuck in a ditch. I have a feeling it's right around Township uh, 1001 Road, or there's another one short by, though. But it's in the area of the defect detector where this occurred. And that's down the line quite a way, so. All right. I think we'll go down there and take a look. We'll yeah, right I guess back. I was kind of right. Uh, 1001 Township Road. Here comes a high rail truck here, but... You can see this guy did get stuck in the ditch. <laughs> and he's standing there. Stuck on the side there. <sighs> anyway, I think the guy in the high rail truck's gonna maybe give him a hand. Apparently not. But there goes the high rail truck. Oh, that was real good. Camera. Doesn't want to do... There. <laughs> Okay, well, that's the way it goes. Okay. Okay. Back here again. Guess where I am? Made it to be a new London now. This would be the Greenwich subdivision. different intermodal and auto rack uh, I don't remember seeing it like that before I did notice one thing though there ain't no uh, up and down and bounce action there that they're used to be since they came down there and tamped the tracks out no more rock and roll and bouncy there
Vans approaching. There she goes. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to see what we can find somewhere else, maybe. I don't know. You guys got any ideas where I should go? <laughs> anyway, we'll find some place. Hey, we'll back, back at you again. State Route 62 outside of New London this time. Got an eastbounder. So let's see what we get. Gonna go into the bomb train collection. Yeah, we got a little up and down action here. Oh yeah, we got a mud spot. Approaching. Gotta look behind me too. <laughs> All denatured alcohol. There she goes. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's gonna conclude it for today. I got things I gotta do uh, back home. Probably one of them is the uh, railroad signal projects. <laughs> Among everything. Dummy me forgot to haul the garbage to the road this morning. Now I gotta put up with uh, another week of garbage. <laughs> Go figure. That's what happens when you get up thinking about rail fan and first thing in the morning you forget morning is garbage day. Tuesday. No, today's Thursday. <laughs> Anyway, bear in mind here, always look to listen at the crossings, though. Uh, Try to get a second chance, you don't. You ever get your car stuck on the railroad track, so, and can't get it off, get everybody out of the car immediately. Call the sign here. That's a direct pathway to the railroad, though. Uh, there's always a worker some, somewhere nearby, like you have seen today, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, 911 is sometimes too delayed, but... It can be used. Every second counts, though, when you call it direct, though. Uh, try not to get the cops involved, though. Uh, they'll try to turn it around on you, though. Uh, to fine you, jail you, steal your money. Maybe possibly steal your car if it's on the tracks. Who knows? You know, cops playing you to that, blah, 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 and all that. With that, though, uh, check out the Railroad Tie Spikers channel, though. Uh, Elliot Walcott. Try Goglin. Northern Ohio Railroad Action, Busted Boy 2, CRRX 6700. That's railroading with Dave. Jawtooth and finally Hobo Shoestring. Give a thumbs up for the men and women of the railroad to keep America moving. We'll see you on the next one. Hey. On the way home, I came by the Lake Erie Railway Company yard here at Heartland Center. Got a train coming here. It's not real big. The defect detector reported 28 axles, so looks like all grainers. So, we'll take a look-see.
And we do have a local behind me idling though, and uh, well, you see which one it is. I think we've seen it to, uh, already today. <laughs> What do you mean, I think? We did see it today. <laughs> now he's creeping here slowly because they got these set though for close distance though, versus uh, further away. This is 7,015. I've seen him before too. They're on the second track, so he's, he's got to head this into the yard somewhere. He probably just picked them up. Or hey, guess what? I think I see the Ohio Bicentennial local again. Over there is 7,007 that we seen over in Crest, yeah, Creston. It appears that both of these are not running. Probably just sitting it there for I don't know, I never know. Maybe maybe they're gonna get on that one and take it to Bellevue. He probably just put it there so they're getting ready to get off this thing anyway, probably. Sit down for a minute. Ugh, shut up. 
Good old Ohio Bicentennial there. Wonder he's on the yard channel, nope. I'll be back in a moment. Zooming on. Yeah, that thing was sitting uh, over at Spencer the other day from the train derailment. I hear the radio traffic too. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> okay, that was the bonus footage. So. Okay, we'll see you next time. And that's Uncle Joe, he's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction.